Hi, my name's Mitz and I'm just going to show you how to go to your Windows XP control panel and um, turn your automatic updates on or off. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to go down to the Start menu and we're going to browse and look for Control Panel. Okay, so we press on that and now we're going to look for the Automatic Updates icon. There it is there. It's all in alphabetical order so it'll be up the top somewhere and double click on it. Okay, so there we go. There's the Automatic Updates dialog box. Um, you've got a few choices here. You can put it on automatic. Um, <coughs> that means that when it is um, time to download the updates, um, it'll just automatically do it. Um, I don't like that because I might be doing something um, and it kind of slows the computer down a little bit. So I um, press on this one here, um, notify me but don't automatically download or, or install them because um, when I'm finished working then I um, choose to download them and install them myself. Um, you can choose this one as well, download the updates for me, but then let me choose when to install them. Uh, that way you can choose which ones you want to install and which ones you don't. Um, also, you can turn them off completely if you like. Um, <coughs> I don't recommend turning them off because um, your computer falls behind the times if you don't keep up with the updates. Um, not all updates are good. Um, yeah, mostly uh, the people that use this turn off the automatic updates. Um, that's probably um, sometimes people do that when they've got an illegal copy of Windows um, because when um, Microsoft is checking on them through these updates, uh, seeing if they have got a legal copy or not. Uh, but if you're all above board, you can press automatic if you like. Um, yeah, as I said, I just like to choose one of these here so it doesn't interrupt me. Okay, there's another way to get to automatic updates as well. If you're still in the control panel, if you just go down to security, you can double click that. And here we go, we have uh, firewall, automatic updates and virus protection. Okay, so we just go down the bottom and it says manage the settings for internet options, windows, firewall or automatic updates. So if you press on that, um, the same box come up that I just showed you. Alright, that's it. Thanks for listening.